the next thing in this video we are going to learn the powershell script to get the running services and stopped services when you are going to open the system health report this is how your data would look like running services and all the name of the stopped services let's see how this can be done in the powershell first of all let us write a comment running services let's create a variable running services and then the commandlet that we need to be aware of is get service now let's try to print this variable and let's see what output it brings okay okay now you can see let us clear the previous runs let me simply run this so what is happening it is now showing me all the different services one couple of them are running couple of them are stopped right stopped running these are the different statuses i could see when i run it and some of them could not be fetched for example npsm services cannot be queried due to following error permission denied there are few things which are internal and it doesn't allow us to see that that's okay but at the end you see the output is coming stopped running so the status so the goal here i need to pull only the status which is running for that how you are going to write it so for this i am going to use a pipe symbol and i am going to say where object i'm going to write a condition where object and here when you write a condition you have to start with the curly braces so once you have the curly braces now i am going to use the dollar underscore dot now this is going to represent the output of this one all the services and here i am going to look for the column status equals to eq equals to running so all i am saying now run the get services and in entire output you look for the status column which whose status should be equals to running that you need to show me now let's run this code and see what output we get so now if you see all the running ones have appeared do you see only the running all the runnings are appearing now the stopped ones are not appearing great now after this what i am going to do i am going to let's see the output once again so here if i go up so status name display name so all i need is the name or you can also look for the display name whatever you like okay display name or the name so i will just take the name now to only see the name instead of status name and display there are three columns i want to see only one column which is the name column so for that i will simply say select object select let me minimize this and write it again select object and here the object name is name now when you are going to run this code what you are going to see the output that you are going to see is only the name column do you see all these are names see only the name column has appeared so this code must be clear to you okay now this code is pretty clear now what are, what the next thing we are going to do is pass this running services to our report data you remember this is the variable we have been using so far dollar report data plus equals to running services now when i do this right when i do this let's see how the data really appears okay let me run it okay so the run is complete let's go back to the desktop open the file now if you see it is coming little in a little weird way if you see the name equals to adobe uh, arm service apx svc it is it is giving you all different kinds of data okay kind of a metadata it looks like now i'm back on my code window let's do a few things here what i'm going to do here i'm going to say select object and i'm going to say expand expand property now when you do expand property what happens it is not going to send you the metadata but just the string that i need okay so expand property name i'm going to save this and run the code again 
okay the code is still running complete it let's go and open the file and you can see now the names have appeared now i don't want to see um, um see uh, there is no proper name also it is all getting added with the memory usage let's go back to the code and here let's see what we can do about this okay now first of all here let me add dollar report data plus equals to and then within double quote i am going to use the back step n and then hyphen hyphen and i'm going to say running services hyphen hyphen okay so it creates a space and after that here what i'm going to do i'm going to join them instead of having everything at the bottom i'm going to join join all these values with a comma and space so how do i do it hyphen join and then within double quote i'm going to say uh, comma and space now let's run the code let's see how the output is coming okay still running run completed let's go back open it and you can see how nicely it has come now everything there's a comma and a space you see all the different so let me expand slide a bit so you can see running services and then you have all the services running here now has been listed here now coming back to the code the running services is done now for the stop services all i have to do simply copy paste this entire code change the name to stopped services here i will say stopped services and here the condition i'll say stopped now with this if i'm going to run the code and go back to the file let's see how it is appearing now so you have got all the running services you have got all the stopped services over here so now this exercise is complete here